G'day everyone and welcome to this 7 Days to Die video. Today we're going to build this super quick and easy Day 7 Ward Base. So starting from pretty much anywhere you want, we're just outside Trader Gens here. Grab some wood frames and start building a 3x3 three three grid of blocks with some ramps on top. Just to put the top of the base outside of the zombies jump pipe. grab some wood just to make sure that we can upgrade these blocks as we go for those that are going to get covered by the top players. And there we go, that is the ramp up to the top of the base. From here, we need to build out our bridge, which is going to be a two block wide, nine block long segment with some supports along the way. Then we're going to turn 90 degrees and build our melee platform five blocks out. Two, three, four, five. Finally, we're going to turn 90 degrees again and build our archery range platform, seven blocks total. From here we need to just scoot around the other side and build out the second row of the bridge, just here. And now we can go start to work on the top section of this hold base. So if we cruise over our bridge, we'll head down to the melee section and pop up our blocks. Let's grab some poles. Pop these in horizontally. And I like to go four high just to make sure that there is no problems with zombies jumping over the top when they stack up. Hopefully with this sort of base though, we won't get much stacking at the melee section. Okay. And there we go. So the last section that we need for this base is to turn the bridge into a platform that will knock off the zombies down to the ground, uh, but without them going into destroy everything mode. To do that, we want to change these blocks into a wedge narrow high. and turn it so that the slope will naturally allow the zombies to slide off like that and we'll put in two more every second block as we go down Do the same on the other side and from there we need to scoot up the top and put in some blocks to also help push the zombies off the side. And one block that I found that does that really well is the gable three quarters. If we turn that on its side, doesn't work if you do it vertical, but on its side, 
spin this one around. There we go. Pop these three high so they can't jump over the top. And this will help push the zombies off to the side. Nice timing. There we go. Jump over. Oh, nice timing again. There we go. All right, let's finish off these pillars. And there we go. That is our base complete. So the zombies will walk up here. I'll come over and have a bit of a slap at these blocks. I'll try and get around. They might make it there, but they will then fall off. And once down below, they might have a slap at a few of these as well. So we'll need to reinforce them, but they'll eventually make their way back around and try again. The other thing I've found in testing is that it's only when they jump off like that that they tend to go into destroy everything mode and that happens when the ramp up is too blocked which is why we've got it as three blocks wide. Alrighty, now that we've got that done it's time to upgrade all the frames to wood. So I'm going to throw myself a nail gun and then let's go and upgrade all the blocks. And three to go. And perfect timing on the level up. All right, now that we've got our base up and running, let's go up in a Feral Arlene and maybe get some arrows. Whoop, she's off. All right, and there we go, past the first column and down on the second. She'll hop up. Loop back around, do a slap, and down she goes again. You can see that at no point is she attacking the base structure, which is good to see. Back around, slap, down again, and boom! Now since we know the base is going to take a bit of damage, it's probably time to grab some cobblestone and look at upgrading. Once again, I'll speed this up so that you don't have to sit through the whole thing. And we're done. Alrighty, time to test this base on a Horde Knight. So I've given myself a few extra levels. As you can see, I'm level 7 now. Game stage is only 8, so even though this world is set to uh, 64 zombies, we're probably going to get nowhere near that many. Let's push this to day 7 and bump up the time to 10 o'clock. Come on, move over. There we go. Couple of minutes to go. Probably want arrows rather than a club to start. And very helpfully, we're going to get a supply drop. It's coming through. Oh, one's almost gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna make it to the end. Ah, no. Oh, no, they're stacking up. That's not gonna be good for those top wood blocks. So, listen for people watching this after. 
upgrade all the way to cobblestone. At least for the top section. Let's see if we can keep them off that. Now I am just using a level 1 bow with basic stone arrows and I think a single point in archery, so we haven't specced up much. Yeah, one down. Good to see that none of them are going in to destroy everything though. So. Taking a few snaps, obviously, at the top bricks, but nothing underneath, really. Or maybe a couple of hits down there. just for fun. Move over a bit here, we might get a better angle than those that are whacking away at the cobblestone. Ooh, that's not good. Give that a bit of a tickle up. Obviously, if they did break through there, two other pillars to work from, but may as well keep it prepared if we can. Nice shot. Keep it moving if we can. No! Oh, that's not good. Goes. Oh, need to repair the bow. Can't quite make it with the bob. Hey, our first melee. And I shoot it with an arrow. Good job. Get off there. You get down too. Might just upgrade that one while we're here. And that one. You can see that that's keeping them fairly well contained still, even though the first one's down. We probably could actually repair it. Here we go. Get that in there. Let's see if we can get that up to wood or cobblestone. Come on! There we go. See the advantage of this base design is even while you're doing that, they just keep walking and falling down. And we still can't shoot. That's a bit better. Nope. Can see. 
fairly relaxing. Obviously, if you had a uh, pipe machine gun or pipe shotgun and a little bit of ammo, that would certainly not go astray from this shooting position. But you can certainly just do it with a bow and arrow. There we go. And that was the first wave, maybe the last wave. Yeah, looks like we're done. And that's it for today's video. Big thanks from me. Please leave your thoughts, questions and suggestions in the comments below and have a good one.